welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can see on the screen, is a collaboration with Liz Acrylic Nails on YouTube. She is absolutely bomb.com, so please don't forget to go and check out her video and her channel as well. I'll leave all her links in the description box down below. So for this like sort of collab, we decided to go with a Christmas theme, and I decided to do sort of like a frozen, frosty, icicly, snowflakey, Christmassy theme. Um, so yeah, I've started by prepping the nails, applying the tips and then I'm coming in with my clear acrylic. That was Liz's Instagram name just popping up on the screen there. Don't forget to go and check that out. I'll leave everything down below anyway. So yeah, after priming the nails with my primer, I have gone in and I'm now applying some clear acrylic. I do like to add a thin layer under pretty much every single design. I don't go straight in with any color or any glitter. This is just the way I like to do it. And a lot of people do do it this way as well. So I go ahead and do that on all of my nails and then after that it's time to move on to the next step. So the system that I'm using today is NSI Attraction. I'm using their Totally Clear Acrylic and also their NSI Attraction Liquid. Now for the glitter I'm going to be using my own custom mix. This is what I'm just showing you here, this is what it looks like once I have done that. Look how thin it is, not thick at all. You don't want to be building up any thickness with that small thin layer there. So onto the glitter. We're using my Cinderella mix which was from my Disney Princess glitter collection. If you purchased one of those from me you have got one of these in your collection. I haven't got any more left for sale unfortunately, they were limited editions so I'm really really sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and apply this blue glitter at the cuticle area. Once I've applied it to the cuticle area I'm going to go ahead and fade it down. I like to use really small patting motions just so that I can control the glitter to exactly where I want it to be. I go ahead and apply that on all of the nails and then we will be moving on to the next step. So if you're liking this video so far guys then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it and also if you haven't subscribed already then please do so. And if you're coming from Lizzie's channel then hi, please don't forget to stay, I would absolutely love that. I do upload weekly videos and usually most of them are nail art related or nails or something to do with nails and I do like to chuck in some makeup videos and other videos in there as well. So for my ratio, because I'm guessing that some people are going to be asking for my mixing my acrylic with my glitter, I sort of just eyeball it as such. Like I'll put a bit in, test it out. Sometimes it's a bit dry so I'll add a little bit more or sometimes it's absolutely perfect. I don't have a specific like measurement at all really. I just sort of do it, test it and then figure out if that's the way I want it to be. So the glitter mix that I am using next is another one of my custom mixes and I didn't have this one for sale. It's a light blue sort of like snowy coloured mix, almost white but it has got um, that tinge of blue to it. So as you can see on the pinky and the thumb I'm just going to be fading it up from the tip up into the other blue that we placed down previously. And this one is also mixed with clear already. Now sometimes I do actually just dip my um, brush in clear acrylic and then into the glitter if I can't, if I don't want to mix too much of it up at, at once, if you know what I mean. Um, so that is definitely something that you can do if you don't want to be mixing a ton of acrylic into some glitters. I hope you guys are liking the new angle, um, this is just going to be for when I'm doing my nails. Um, when I'm doing client's nails obviously I can't have it too much in the way because they'll be just like what the hell are you doing? Um, so this is going to be the angle from now on when I do my nails or when I'm doing anything to do with obviously me or my nails. Um, so yeah, I hope you're liking it and you can see a lot more. It was a little bit difficult in some places, so like, you know, sort of like moving the brush around to get it to where I can sort of show you and not be banging into the tripod and all that jazz. So yeah, 
but I did get, I will get used to it I really think that it is a much better angle um, to put to be honest with you so if you like it let me know give it a thumbs up so this is where we are at now and this was absolutely stunning I was almost gonna leave it just like that but then I was like oh I need a little bit more give me some more bling I decided to use this angel paper or nail art film and basically just cut it up into little shards little pieces that I could fit onto my nail So now I am coming in, I'm applying them to the nail, I'm using a really 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 thin layer of clear acrylic to act as my glue for these little pieces, they don't need a lot to actually hold them down, as long as you can sort of tack them in place and then encapsulate and clear then you're absolutely fine, they don't need to be like solidly stuck down. Um, so yeah, I just go ahead, apply the smallest amount of clear and then press those into the nail. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then I will be back. Oh and guys, Liz, oh, this is just a bit about Liz, like a shout out to that woman. Like seriously, she is absolutely bomb.com. She's so freaking amazing and just beautiful and so kind hearted and I don't know, like she just doesn't believe in herself as much. I mean, I think she might have changed slightly now, now that she's actually thinking, actually, people do actually believe in me because, oh, I don't know, it makes me so sad to think that someone so freaking awesome doesn't believe that they've got it to be, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like shaking her and just, come on girl, you've got this, like, you're absolutely amazing, Liz. Just believe in everything that you're doing. You've got absolutely gorgeous children, a beautiful family. Mine are in the background, just causing a bit of havoc there. But yeah, you're absolutely amazing, girl. So keep doing what you're doing, and I'm always here if you ever need me. I've always told you that. So yeah, much love to you and your family, and obviously mine are just screaming in the background. <laughs> Anyway, so that was my little shout out to Liz. She knows I think she is absolutely awesome anyway. I tell her pretty much all the freaking time. Anyway, moving on and we are on to encapsulating. The kids are in the background so I just don't mind the little bit of noise that may come from there. Um, I'm encapsulating with an SI's totally clear acrylic and I like to try and get this done in one huge ball. Sometimes I do two but it's better in one I find if I can do that. And there we go, so I will just go and encapsulate a couple more showing you the exact process that I'd like to do. If you'd like a separate video on encapsulating nails, sort of like different products in the nails and me doing a really detailed explanation of it, then let me know, excuse me, I will add that to my list. It might take me a while to get around to doing it because I've got so many videos on the list that need to get done and I'm such a busy mom, busy working mom, busy businessy mom, everything is just hectic um, but yeah I will get around to it. So I apply my top coat and cuticle oil and then that is pretty much it for this design. Guys, I hope so much that you are having a fabulous run up to Christmas. I'm so excited for the big 2-5. It's going to be amazing. We've got our little elf living in the house so he goes back every night and tells Father Christmas if the children have been naughty or nice. Hopefully by the 25th they have been absolutely as good as gold. So far so good. And yeah, I hope you all have an amazing Christmas. Sending lots of love from my family to yours. And I will see you in the next one guys. Thank you so much for watching. And also do not forget to subscribe, like and comment. Bye.